Well, let's find out how this could affect different parts of the country. In a moment, we'll go to Louise Hubble in Dorset. But first of all, let's speak to Mike Sargent, who's in York. Mike, these cuts are very likely to affect the north especially. There must be a lot of apprehension up there. Yes, that's right. That's the fear here. They think there'll be about a 10% cut over the next financial year. So a lot of the pain uh, coming early over the uh, next four-year period. Some are describing it as the toughest financial settlement since the Second World War. Well, let's get a, a Labour perspective on this now with James Alexander, who leads the Labour group here in the council. James, uh, presumably you're, you're setting yourself up in pretty strong opposition to some of these cuts. I am indeed. I mean, we are looking at, uh, you know, a 10% cut, as you've just said, uh, on the back of eight years of £52 million extra going into this council from the Labour government, and yet now we're looking at service reductions after a time we've already started to make savings. But it's fair to say that even if Labour had, had won the general election, there would still be a very, very tough funding environment for local councils. There would be. It's fair to say that there would have to be uh, reductions in public spending, and I'm aware of that. But what I'm concerned about is the scale of these cuts and, and them being front-loaded to here this year. We are talking about a reduction in a huge amount of services, a reduction in jobs. Neighbouring Selby Council is going from 300 staff to 14. I mean, that's the scale of the kind of thing we're looking at. The government's argument is that if councils are smart about how they operate, if they work more efficiently and, and pool resources with other councils, for instance, they don't have to cut frontline services. What do you think about that? There's only so much you can do with efficiency savings, and we've almost got there. What we are talking about now is real-term cuts in front-level services for vulnerable people. We are talking about the possibility of care homes closing, swimming pools closing and libraries, real services for real people. On the day the government is announcing the localism bill, they are localising the cuts to councils and to local people. OK, James Alexander, thank you very much indeed. Well, as I said, just about an hour to go until this funding announcement. Then we'll be able to see how York does compare with other parts of England. Let's go to another region now and join Louise Hubble, who's in Dorset. Louise.